Chitra Madam, it is very precious time for the Indian student to get the guidance as far as Canadian university is concerned. Waterloo is the number one university, and it is very high in demand as far as Indian student is concerned. So, just tell about the Waterloo University, its location, and its courses. Okay. My name is Karuna Osman, and it's my pleasure to be here with Mr. Katuria and Career Plus, our trusted partner. University of Waterloo is located in Ontario, one hour and 15 minutes from Toronto. Um, it is a prestigious university, if you may call it. I would call it, it is a ranked university for what it offers. Though in Canada, we don't really measure ranking because all education in Canada is good. Doesn't matter which university you go to, you're gonna get credible degree. But University of Waterloo adds a lot of things to its degree, giving students um, an opportunity to have double degree programs, to have multiple major programs, and to have cooperative education program. And your next question, uh, which is, what is cooperative education? Yes. I want to start by explaining that cooperative education is taking theory and putting into practice. It has many purposes. It gives you experience in the marketplace. It also gives you exposure to the industry, defines your own subject matter for you. And third, but not least, you can make some working scholarship and money to reduce the cost of education. 80 to 85% of our courses have a cooperative education. And the, set, and the courses that don't have it, you still go out to work in the marketplace and we do provide you support in that as well. Co-op education provides you uh, leadership qualities by learning how to apply for a job. We are not a job placement agency. We are there to assist you in making you career ready. That is our word, we are making you career ready. Waterloo has the highest number of co-op terms as far as the study is concerned. Yes, between four to six terms of co-op. If you're doing accounting it is uh, and finance, it is uh, four, to, uh, four terms. But it doesn't matter, the kids can still work the other two terms, but not under the co-op. Uh, when we say you have, it's a mandatory co-op, you have to do it to get a degree. Uh, in engineering, it's mandatory, and there are six terms, and students generally will study, study, work, study, study, work, work, study, work, study, work, study and work study. Um, exciting thing is that students work in very powerful industries. They go to very big jobs. We have 7,000 employers. And we also, this also gives students an opportunity to uh, go back and revisit this company. I have a student right now. Um, the, you know one of our colleagues, Nalini. Her son mm -hmm. is studying at University of Waterloo. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just got a job for his next co-op term right. in a company right. where he worked in a second co-op term. So right. students, when they like something, they also go back to those, those uh, industries as well to work, okay? This is the co-op term, which is originally uh, generated by the Waterloo University and the students are getting most of the advantage out of it. Yes, and because we have a full department, we have a yes. department yes. with yes. people to assist the student. We oh. don't spoon feed them. Uh, University of Waterloo, whether it is education, whether it is co-op, whether it is exchange programs, um, does make the student responsible for the work that has to be done. We have a very, very, very effective student services department. Uh, students get a lot of help from us. If the student is feeling uh, not so good or there's uh, you know too much work we have places where students can go seek help and we will provide them i would like to talk about housing a little bit if you yes, want yes, me to yes, 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 yes. so we have housing available for every student who comes in their first year and to university of waterloo the housing is available at a little bit various cost depending on which one you take and meal plans are also available as uh, students have I would say living in a lap of comfort when they come to University of Waterloo's uh, things. And you have been there, Mr. Yes, Kuturi. yes, yes, I have been there. I have seen things my, myself personally, and it is huge, huge campus, good facility, good, good uh, extracurriculum activity. Yes, Thought, so awesome. students are able to join a sports team under Warriors, and yeah. they can fight competitive. Yes. And yes. if they want to um, do competitive sports, they're uh, doing that. If not, they can play intramural. They can have friendly games. Uh, you can 
also play community sports like cricket and compete between each other. It's a university town. There are three institutions, University of Waterloo, Wilfrid Laurier, and we have Conestoga College. So majority of the people are young people learning and professors who are teaching them and service providers. So it's a very beautiful comfort uh, city. I always feel so good being there. Uh, and students like it too. And 50, one hour and 15 minutes you're in Toronto. So no issue. And it is a very great uh, study environment there. And my students are very happy there. All great. of them. Yeah. yeah. So, and you know what? Uh, the uh, students make their career plans to come back and do masters and PhDs also there. So it's yes, a yes. research university as well. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. So, Madam, engineering programs are most popular in India. Just tell me about the, what are the different streams available for the Indian students for the engineering. Um, we have lots of streams. We have software engineering, biomedical engineering, computer engineering, architectural engineering, architecture. Uh, we have mechanical, mechatronics, electronics, uh, geological, environmental, uh, system design engineering. We have lots of engineering, management engineering. Um, students have to just decide now there are some overlapping things as well so things that we have to remember is that the students uh, who are coming to us will take majority of their courses but they're allowed to take courses from other disciplines also uh, to enhance the degree you can also take engineering and entrepreneurship that's also permitted so lots is available for students to stack up the degree the double degree program from with cs with wilford laurier fantastic two degrees at the price of one yes. in five-year period yes. with full co-op. Co uh, children are just, uh, they're benefiting a great deal from that. Tell me about the what is the minimum requirement as far as getting admission into the water? So some of my programs you can get in between 80 to 85 percent. Then uh, majority of the programs between 85 to 90. But when it comes to things like accounting and finance, um, CS, uh, financial analysis and risk management, uh, engineering programs. 90% is the borderline, uh, higher than that would be great. And we're talking about predicted grades. Now, when you look in the book, the students get really excited. Oh my God, Mrs. Osman only requires 85%. Well, that is your base. That yes. is your condition. Many of competition, yeah, competition Many is on the predicted grade. So if you go with 85 um, you will be disappointed because you're not going to get in. Um, yeah, sometimes you get in depending on the seats, depending on your other parts of your profile, because we also need extracurricular activities. Um, we give you a, a, a form called admission uh, yeah, yeah. AIF, yeah. information form, in which the student is able to talk about their extracurricular, their other abilities. We want a holistic student, a student who is going to enjoy, succeed, has ability to learn. I've said before, and I'm saying it again, it is not a cakewalk. It is requires you to be dedicated student. Okay. So if you're okay. wanting to have a party school, this is not the party school. It's still a fun school though, a lot of fun. Um, I have a lot of fun. I see students having a lot of fun and you will join clubs and you will have um, opportunity to have friendship in terms of going to a dance thing. And we have uh, cultural things like the Bali dance and Ramadan things, and when we have Eid, we celebrate, we celebrate uh, a cricket team competition. Mm -hmm. So a lot of fun things are happening, but you have to be a student. Mm -hmm. So that was the lighter part. Just tell me about the fees often. What is the range of fees for the different different courses? Anywhere from 35,000 to 55,000 is the fees, depending on what program you're taking. But remember, one third of this fees you can make through co-op. Co and yes. the, yeah, the programs which don't have co-op, like uh, aviation, etc., parents should be governed that that's going to be expensive for them. But students are still allowed to work in the uh, holiday time, right? Okay. When they have okay. a break, they they just don't work under the co-op stream. They work mm -hmm. outside. So the outside work, maybe uh, if you're working four summers, uh, will be about forty to $45,000 you will make yourself. But if you're working co-op, anywhere from 60, 70 to uh, 100,000, like some CS students make close to $120,000. We are, uh, co-op is available in 60 different countries. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
So just tell me about the scholarship part also, but um, we what are we known for? There is the there are uh, very little scholarship. Presenter scholarship one thousand to five thousand hmm. dollars. Then there is department scholarships which are ranging in about ten thousand uh, dollars. CS has announced some new scholarships, and uh, I have a couple of students who got a twenty thousand dollars scholarship. But you have to be top of the range person. Every year, if you're doing well, you have will have some places you can apply for some funding, uh, some. A scholarship. Um, I'm not sure that if Waterloo should be considered for scholarship. Waterloo should be considered for its quality of education plus the cooperative education yeah. and scholarship should be seen as a gift. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some students who will come and say to me, I'm going to University X and they've given me uh, $100,000. And uh, I get very excited about that because it's a great thing because all Canadian education is good. There are strings attached to that. those dollars is that, um, first of all, it's not given at the front end. It is every year and you have to maintain a certain average. So it's a very good way to know that I've got that. But if you're two points lower than that, that scholarship is not there. So I get these. But if they don't have co-op and we have co-op, it balances out the same way. Obviously. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are some schools that genuinely are giving students good scholarship on high grades. Please, um, students should compare apple to apples, not apple to oranges. Mm -hmm. And this also brings me to another point. Always chase the program. If I'm offering your program and that's what you wanted to do, come to us. Uh, don't take me because the name is Waterloo. Uh, if uh, uh, Memorial is offering your course without mathematics and I am uh, not able to do that and you have to take a, a course that's different, I would always recommend don't compromise. Comprom don't compromise on the program. Compromise um, maybe on a location sometimes, but never on the program you want to take. And if U of T is offering your program and I'm not, please go to University of Toronto. I would, uh, I'm a student center person. Um, also don't only apply to one university because we have no guarantees in either of our universities, yes, yes, yes. Uh, any of our universities that yes, your admission is guaranteed. Um, talk to us. I will give you options. I'm the person who always recommends take two or three universities and in each university apply to two or three programs. Okay. Within, a, within university, you can apply for the multiple courses. Also. Courses. And yes, it costs a little extra money for some things, but hey, listen, you want to give your options, right? Okay. Students have one question that's coming up. When do I click yes? June 1 is the date to click yes. There's another question that's going to come up about uh, are you offering the course in September? Yes, we're offering the course whether face-to-face -face or online. We are fully prepared for September start. There will be a September school start for our programs. One more thing we will have to clear that we have only the September intake rather than... We are having the only one September intake rather than having January... We do not have multiple entry. University of Waterloo has one entry. Mm -hmm. uh, which is in September. I also want to promote one master's program called MBET, yes. Masters of Business, Entrepreneurship and Technologies. A very powerful program in mm -hmm. which you have many things to add to the profile. It's all listed. Letter of intent being one of the strongest points. Mm -hmm. And then there's an interview. Mm -hmm. Not easy to get in. Very few seats. But if you really want to make a difference in a marketplace in terms of entrepreneurship, doesn't matter the, the subject matter of study. Please look at Embed and look at our profiles and you will find that it is a program that you really want to do. Students get concerned it's only 12 months. What will happen by RRCC? They're not going to give us the work permit, mm -hmm. but they don't understand that it ha at exit, if you have a letter of employment, your chances of PR become very different mm -hmm. uh, in mm -hmm. terms of, so I'm not going to discuss that aspect of it. It is not my responsibility. Uh, if you have those concerns, please contact the university and they will help you out with that. Okay. And uh, what about the courses available for the medical field for the Indian students? In the, if you want to, if you're interested in medicine and dentistry and physiotherapy, etc., you need to start your career in an undergraduate degree in faculty of science or health science studies. In health studies, you will require mathematics. There is no problem in my university without maths in those fields. So you can take uh, um, therapeutic recreation, kinesiology, health studies, public health, and with that you can go and uh, 
go to further medical profession. 54% of the students make it into their second degree in their professions. It's a very big turnaround yeah. Yeah. for them. Yeah. But it is everything is in the hand of the students. They have to grab it. They have to study. They have to perform. Uh, nothing comes on a silver platter. It is not. Uh, students need to be self-governing, self-standing, finishing the work and not get into any uh, kind of conflicts, etc. They have to have focus. And all these programs are very popular program in Canada and then as far as getting the job done. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know what? Uh, I've been in Canada since 1970, August 24th, I arrived at 7.30 in the evening. And I took a break for one month to see Banff and all of that. Um, I've never been without work, not even a single day of my life during the pregnancy also I had work. So people who say I don't have jobs and I never turned away from a job uh, because of status. Uh, I took the job which got me through that period of time to look at that. But I worked uh, in teaching for 30 years and here at Waterloo for, this is my 10th year of work with the University of Waterloo. Mm -hmm. so. Madam, third popular program in India is the business program. So just uh -huh. tell you, what are the options available for the business program? There are two types of business program in my university. One is in the faculty of mathematics. Uh -huh. And for that, I require 90 to 95% and a very strong grade in maths. Yeah, the other one is honors arts and business, uh, environment and business, uh, in which I don't require mathematics. And these will focus on marketing and management type of programs. And uh, these programs also give you ability to do double majors. So a student can do business and economics, business and psychology. They can also do a minor with this two minor majors. So these are very popular program. I have accounting and finance. I have computational finance. Uh, those require mathematics. Student with math will have more options and student without math will have some option, but uh, I have planning degree that doesn't require mathematics uh, and a very, very powerful degree a Bachelor of uh, Psychology doesn't require mathematics. Um, political science doesn't require international development. So please remember uh, students have legal studies if you want to be a lawyer. Uh, students have many options. So they should go through www.uwaterloo.ca slash future hyphen students website in which it is the view book, the black view book that's in your office mm -hmm. can be attained from the, um, this particular website. And then below that is numbers of discipline listed. If you click that engineering workbook will come in, global business and digital art will come in. All those books will be available to read more information. And then of course you are a very good source of information as well. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to avoid the co-op, it is a possibility or otherwise want to enhance the co-op term also, what is the probability? In courses which is mandatory, he cannot drop co-op. In uh, courses which it says co-op available, it is a choice of a student to join or not to join. You cannot, okay. uh, you can sometimes click, I don't want it and then change your mind and you will have to reapply and then they will determine whether you can or cannot. It determines on your marks and language skills. Madam, there is a one major issue as far as Indian student is concerned. A lot of science students, especially biology students and commerce students don't have the math. So what are the courses you would like to recommend for the Waterloo University? Anything to do with the arts program. Okay. Math's not required. Uh, most of them, like accounting requires math and those things. But uh, as I said, psychology, philosophy, social development, social work don't require mathematics. Uh, for students who uh, have done uh, physics, chemistry, math, uh, physics, chemistry, biology, biology, they have very difficult time with me. Then they go to my partner university, WLU, and do BA biology without mathematics. Okay. But with me, they can do a virtual math through www.virtualhighschool.com. Um, and from that, they will do two types of math, advanced functions, Cal and vectors, and that will get them ready for our programs. So, what is the placement scenario as far as Waterloo is, uh, your student is concerned? And then, what is the work permit yeah. available for the Waterloo students? You are saying what percentage of students get in? Yeah, uh, placement, placement option, placement opportunity. Oh, 96 to 96 to 98 percent placement Great. of students Great. when they graduate Great. within the first six months. 
Some faculties a little higher, some faculties a little less. Uh, for example, software engineering, computer science students uh, are almost all placed. 1.4% maybe not. And there is a separate division which provides the help to the student for getting the jobs and then this type of opportunity. Yeah, whole uh, co-op department. Yes. Once they have met six employers, their kids are very well versed. So I would uh, ask for a last question. There is a great university, Waterloo University, and then you have been to associated for the helping the Indian students. If you sum up the three points, major points, why the students should come to the Waterloo, what would be the three points? First of all, I would have the first point to say, come to Canada first. Mm -hmm. Canada is showing tremendous leadership in the world right now. Mm -hmm. Look at what our prime minister is announcing for um, international students. He is there to help them out. Uh, we are making sure that these students are taken care of. Uh, University of Waterloo is an incredible place to learn. It gives you research uh, possibilities, cooperative education possibilities, of work first class learning environment, support systems, uh, quality of students who are doing masters and PhDs available to help you. Mm -hmm. So students are looked after in the best possible manner. Mm -hmm. All universities in Canada provide fantastic service, but Waterloo goes a step further with cooperative education, having so many people looking after them. Even within my office, because I travel a lot, if I wrote to my boss, Mr. Munro, and said, uh, Tony, I have a student who's having some issues. I'm telling you within hours, uh, this man has a very big heart. Uh, he has written to the students, met the student, just solved the problem, uh, solved the issue. An issue could have been just as a small issue uh, about, uh, I don't know where to go for health services or what the issue is in this manner. There are no big issues because we cash them at the source. Um, if you have a child who is uh, finding it difficult, cumbersome, we do have a study um, center where they can go and student services will help them make a timetable, etc. Three points you have asked me is the quality of uh, education, the cooperative education, and the care for each child as a valuable member of our uh, organization. They are part of us, we are there to help them, and my bosses, uh, in my department, uh, Tina Roberts, Scott O'Neill, and my colleagues. Uh, if I'm not there, it doesn't mean that I'm the India rep, Brian Bailey, Valerie Hertai, everybody will get up and help and uh, students are looked after in a beautiful sort of a way. And uh, when people say, oh, you are the India queen, I'm not, I'm, I just, that's my, my work. But any one of us will give you as much help as we can. Thank you so much. Sir. Definitely, madam. Definitely, this type of services we used to getting from you, and then you take a lot of lot of pain for the student, for us also. And then this is a late night, I suppose three o'clock in the morning in Vancouver, and then you're almost three o'clock. Yes. And then you are recording the. So interview. that's okay. It's Thank done. You. Thank you so uh, much. Listen, if the students need me, please put my email there, kosmanetwaterloo.ca, yeah. and my phone number, 1250-549-8193. You can always WhatsApp me. Thank you. Thank you, very Thank you much. so much. Eh? Thank you so much. Thank All you. the best. Thank you.